recording. How is it going? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm too bad. Nice, nice. Cool. So why did you choose this game? Uh, out of uh, curiosity. I, I don't know. I lost. I just picked one where I lost. I just went through all the recordings and just picked one. Is it is it working? That looks a bit scary. It should, yeah. Just, it's it's, it's processing, but it, yeah, it'll be 360p for a little bit. That's fine. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Um, I think I lose this. I think this is a very hard one. Already? I, I think I do get a bit mad in chat and write, why is this so difficult a few times? So I'm just going to warn you now. No problem. All right. Uh, I'm going to stream on Discord so you can see my screen. Okay, beautiful. Cool. You'll be able to see, right? Uh huh. Let me just click the wrong button. Yeah, I can see. Awesome. Yeah, I have this fucking empty item set. I'm so mad about it. I need to get rid of that. Cool. Uh, let me go back to loading screen. So, Zaya Tom Kench versus Silver Alistar. I think I troll this game. I, I don't remember what happens, but I just remember it not being very good. I think so, I got mad about this Malphite jungle or something. I can't remember. Anyway, focus on gameplay, okay? Focus 100%. on uh, focus on what you can do differently gameplay-wise as well. So what do you think about this matchup then? Zaya Tom Kench versus Silver Alistair? I don't think we win. How do you win? I don't. I think we uh, lose because they have PTA abuser. So you think you lose because they have PTA? Oh, look, I ping it, look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so you notice they have PTA. You have an Alistair, sure they have a Tom Kench. I'm pretty sure our team just froze the beginning because I, just, I knew they were going to invade and my team was AFK in the base. Right. Start, try, to stay really on, like... try to stay on, to, on point, okay? So stay with mm. me here. The matchup. How do you think the matchup goes? What do you think you need to be doing in the... What do you think you, you need to be doing in uh, level one? Level one, I think we just try and rush level two and all in with knock up or something. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit sad. Okay. But they use heal. Yeah, they use heal. I'm probably ignited your Alistair, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to achieve, don't ask. Is a good Q? Yeah, I just want them to go away, to be honest. <laughs> Cringe quality. So... Again, this doesn't really change that much about the level 1. Your Alistair won't have sums, so you probably don't want to 2v2 them super early, but then again, you I weren't... I I wasn't leashing. It just didn't seem worth it. Okay. Uh, I think this is leash. fine to not leash when, when uh, you need to get to lane, but you definitely... It's interesting that Tom isn't leashing as well, unless he's in the bush. Not sure where Tom is. No, he's leashing as well. Okay, that's very strange. This is a bit of a strange idea. Like, yeah, he's back now. Yeah, he's, he tanked as well. He's or something because he's got like missing HP. Right. It's one of those games that you probably want to be able to see what they did, but yeah. I I panic early game. This is like the, my weakest phase of the game, I think. Because I just don't. I just random. I'll probably randomly press buttons. Also, I'm playing lock screen. Also, I don't level with control, which is a problem. But I just. Which means I can forget to level in team fights for a lot. Okay. So they're pushing the wave in. We are... You are getting shoved and they have level 2 on... You're level 2, but Alistair's level 1 right now. Yeah. So you can't really fight. And this, honestly, this early game is going to look like this. It's going to be pretty standard and you're AD carry. You just want to farm and get your CS, yeah? Yeah. Pretty much how this lane's going to go because they have a Tom Kench. So all inning them is a bit awkward. Um, in this it's lane, you want to just play with poke. You want to try and poke it, Rip. poke them out. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to focus on just you know landing those chunky cues once you get some AD, uh, and making sure that you know they can't hit the wave safely. And if they do yeah. hit the wave, they take an alley Q combo and plus Q, and then you back off. It's fast trades yeah. in this lane, right? Random Q. I didn't like that. But I'll just panic and use Q for no reason a lot. That's just like really bad. Yeah. We so, didn't win that at all. 
I think in this lane, mana is king. Okay, mana is really important in this lane. You can't ignore that. Ignore your mana. Okay, so one thing I would I I would suggest is if Alistair combos here, you don't need to do anything. Don't use Q. This okay. this Q is just going to go straight through the minions and it's going to do like fifty damage to them. Mm -hmm. It's just not worth using Q there. Okay. Because you're yeah. really, really low on mana now, and you can't actually contest the wave anymore. And now you're just stuck under tower. And then on top of that, your spell shield missed, which, as you know, you know, it screws you a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's okay, because you're Sivir, and you're just going to scale. Oh, whoa, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What Tom the hell? Holy moly, okay. He got really wrecked. Yes, he did. All right, so this is amazing. So... Uh, what I would do there is, honestly, if you're feeling really confident in your abilities, you could probably we just walk up and, down. yeah, you probably could have run Zaya down there. But 1v2, she shouldn't be allowed to do this. First of all, this yeah. Q doesn't accomplish anything, okay? You're, mm -hmm. you're throwing your Q through the minion waves into Zaya, it doesn't accomplish anything. And now, I, now I'm Zaya and I'm really not scared, because you have no mana and there's, there's like, who cares if... If she gets comboed, it doesn't even matter anymore. Tom's already yeah. coming back, and now you don't have mana to push. So after you get this kill, this like freebie, what do you think you should actually do with it? You walk past the wave and try and kill her. Exactly, right? Because there's something else that important important that just happens now. What just happened? I know it's pretty shit quality, but you should. Uh, Poppy just showed. Exactly. Middle. As soon as Poppy shows, well then it's four or two. I'm gonna see if I can reload this, maybe get some better quality. There we go. Beautiful. Yes, here we go. Okay. So, Poppy shows, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I realized that at the time, if I'm honest. Okay, yeah, so that's a little bit of map awareness there. Because mm -hmm. as soon as Poppy shows, the Zaya isn't allowed to walk up anymore. She should just die here. I, I really am getting angry at myself watching her. Uh, there's no re there's no reason to get angry. Like, when you watch your yeah. own replays, like, again, keep, it, keep the emotion out of this. Focus on what you can do, what you can't do. Every single player has a lot of these things that you'll, when you watch a replay, you'll be like, oh, okay, I should have done this. Absolutely no yeah. reason to get angry. This is just standard stuff for improvement. Okay, she gets... Cool. Too she should, she, she'll burn her flash. She, does she die here? She'll definitely she burn her flash. Yeah, she does. Oh, she has no sums from level one. Okay, cool. So yeah, the only thing I'd suggest is, again, we're just playing, we're, you're playing way too far back for a situation mm -hmm. where she has no mana. Poppy is top side. Okay, so just punish her, but it's fine. You, you did end up punishing her. But it was a little bit like kind of close, and I think Tom's been—I don't know—Tom's having uh, going for a siesta or taking the scenic route. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> where is he? I have no idea where he is. He hasn't shown on the map. He's probably just wandering around in river, um, which at this point in the game, it's like, why? Really, why? His, really his AD carry is like desperate for CS, okay, and he's Bobby wandering around in river. Comes, I guess. Okay, so you get this—you get this free kill, right? You get this free kill on Zaya, but then then what's the biggest issue here? We need to recall now. Yeah, you, you really have to recall, right? If Zaya gets a big base off now, even if she dies and you're stuck in lane, it doesn't matter if you get the kill. You're going to be stuck there for a while or you'll lose a lot of farm. So, what should you be doing? <laughs> what did I just witness? That was so disgusting. We just need to shove in base. I just really yeah. wanted to okay. shove this in. So, this is something I say to every single student. Um, use your pings. So, reenact what you should be doing with your pings. Mm -hmm. to get the fastest shove uh starting from here yeah he, i don't know why he walks up but it's like lucky we've got poppies out but i don't think she can do anything anyway yeah should you first of all this is this is partly ali's mistake but you should also just direct your teammates in the in these kind of situations you really need to base zaya is yes. probably coming uh, back like in five to ten sec in 10 seconds she'll be back maybe in, yeah. maybe like 15. you need to base mm -hmm. And there's no reason for Alistair to ward. So make sure he knows that. Make sure he, you tell him, be like, bro, there's no reason to ward. It doesn't matter if Poppy's there. In fact, if Poppy's there and she tries to freeze, unlucky, it's okay, whatever. You just get a good base and you have a kill, right? Yeah. Get this wave in. But you managed to get the wave in, but look what happens. Tom freezes because we didn't push fast enough. Alistair should have used his WQ on the wave. You need to get yeah. this wave in ASAP. But at the end of the day, you get a pretty much perfect base. It's fine. And your Sivir, so a lot of like... Farming is gonna happen. Yeah, I felt like I trolled this because I should have been back earlier. Okay, so there's one thing you need to do a lot at the elo, and that is what? 
Yes, it is popular. Okay, so first of all, first of all, mm. right now, what should you be doing with Alistair? Do we just um, recall mm. at the same time? Yeah, why isn't Alistair recalling? And this is something you should definitely, uh, like, he is, he is literally, he is just walking around, pacing back and forth in bot lane for zero reason. There is absolutely no reason for, he to, no for reason him to be bot lane here. No. Okay, second of all, okay, but that's kind of his fault. That's not really on you. But then but this situation, do, just, just start pinging back, okay? Or mm -hmm. you go directly to the fight, okay? There's no in-between. You don't, you don't go bot lane and let them go on with the fight. Yeah. Uh, it's one or the other, so... Mm -hmm. Use your pings. Make sure you tell these people that this is just incredibly troll. I think Zarya, yeah, picks up some kills there. Like, I, I'm indecision. It's, like, pretty crazy. But after he dies, I just stop farming. I think. All right, so you have, you have, like, a wave in front of you. So it's it. the correct call here is to ping your support and your jungle. Like, stop fighting. This is my wave. Go away. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I can't help, and I'm, you know, I'm a level 4 Sivir, and with a giant wave coming under into my tower, I really don't want to fight. It's that simple. I really don't want to fight. Yeah. And if they if they go ahead and fight anyway, then it is what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Anyway, okay. So Zaya is in the same position. Okay, she needs to base now. So what should you do with the wave? Okay. Uh, quick question before I before you answer that: Can they kill you? Yes or no? One v two. Can they kill you? Yes. You think so? Yes. Do you know how hard it is to get on you though? Yeah. Good, it, good night, Simonizer. Really Thanks for showing up, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Good night, dude. Good night. Yeah, if I don't eat the uh, tongue, then it's it's okay. doable. But apart from that, no, because Zai has no mana. So she, she has no mana. Through. They have zero easy to land CC, and then even if they did, you're sick. And, right? and also, Alistair is now parking bot lane. So if I just yeah. stall two seconds, we can, so, maybe we can turn this. So this is what I'm. This is kind of what I'd call soft pressure. You're putting soft pressure on them because they know they need to get the wave in. Or, they, yeah. or they're going to get frozen on. So you can start mm -hmm. manipulating the wave and be like, hey, bro, if you don't walk up here... Yeah, exactly. So do, but, but don't walk away. Walk up to the wave, you know? Yeah. Threaten. Like, there's no, there's no threat to you at all. They don't have, te they don't have Tom Kench tongue. They have nothing. Mm -hmm. Walk up, freeze the wave. Force the Zaya to stay. Be as, as annoying as possible. If Zaya backs off, well, there you go. You've just gotten a free freeze. Yeah? Yeah, this is really in, actually. I'm walking backwards. Okay, but we stop her back anyway, which is the next best thing. But what we now need to do is just spam, sh spam, shove waves into her, into the. She's trying to recall there. I don't know why. Yeah, as a good Q, I personally okay. So you you can accomplish exactly the same thing as this Q if you just Q the minions here. Oh okay. Think about it this way: What is Zaya scared of when she's trying to recall, losing a bunch of XP and gold? Okay, mm -hmm. you stalling her is like the second best way of you making her lose XP and gold. The best way is keep her under tower and yeah. she has zero mana and she's really boned. Okay, so cue the, when you wave, the minion wave. Mm -hmm. Make sure, again, she's, she's never going to leave now. If you, if you play the lane right, she's just basically stuck for the rest of eternity. Good cue. In fact, you actually kill her, which is even better. Now she's really boned. But your team definitely is uh, far behind. I can't do anything here. I don't know why I woke up. Okay, so how could we have played this dive a little better? Firstly, this auto into Q, you're in range of tower. So I think that was probably the main main, uh, main thing you need to change, which is just take a quick step back, throw your Q, get the tag, and then walk back forward so Ali's tanking, yeah? Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, it's fine. You, you got what you came for. You killed her. It's I think fine. I actually dies to this guy. This is really embarrassing, actually. I thought I could kill him. I don't know. I thought he had like a ability, but he didn't. So I just even a reason. Then I heal, which is really cringe. And I, I think I even flashed this. No, why, why would I flash late? Don't flash late. You cringe at all. Oh no <laughs> one saw that. Just no. Everyone close your eyes. No. So, so the way I would the way I would play this one v one because yeah, you're right. You you should never die here. The way you play this 1v1 is, again, just kind of think about, think about how you would have to play it if you were Tom Kench, right? Mm -hmm. If you were Tom Kench, what's the only way you lock a Sivir down? It's uh, landing the tongue. Landing the tongue, right? So that's just, that's it. Just wait for the tongue animation. 
And if you react to that, there's absolutely zero way he's ever going to kill you. There's he is no just... need to pretempt, like, preemptively. Exactly. Yeah. There's no need to preemptively spell shield, especially here when you only have a few stacks on you. You're not even at risk of getting CC'd, right? Mm -hmm. So just yeah. be patient, wait for that that tongue, spell but shield it, and you just walk could, away. I could just walk backwards, but I thought I'd win with the minions here. Like you I'm do? Gonna... If you flash that Q, you win. No. I'm if you flash that Q, you win. But it's okay. Yeah. Um, the wave is coming into you, so it's not the end of the world, and Tom did burn Flash, but you also burned both some, so it's pretty awkward. And then this, I don't know what this guy's I doing. Alright, so you're, you're walking bot lane, but let's speed up a little bit and see what mm -hmm. happens. Okay, wait, did we kill? Yeah, should we just kill this? I think she just lives on my HP. I think I messed up here. Oh, no. Okay, well, first of all, um, Alistair missed, messed up his combo. Okay, yeah. So there's a couple things that you need to do on Sivir. That if you're a Sivir one trick, you just have to start getting down every single time. Okay, this is just like basic Sivir mechanics that you should do. So what's the no, proper combo that you should here. reset your auto with W? Start with Q so that you maybe have your Q cooldown up, up again. later yeah. if some crazy shenanigans happen. It's mm -hmm. just a free Q as soon as she gets CC'd here, and then you go auto W. Okay, and then okay. she would die there. Yeah. Q mm -hmm. auto W. Boom. Done. Simple. Yeah. What do I even do? Like, yeah. yeah, that was so bad. What? I don't even realize how bad that was until you said what? Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's just a that's just a simple mechanic that you should always do. And in fact, I would even queue as early as possible because if you're if you're playing super, you know, super kind of high elo, as soon as he W's, you queue. But you know, some servers I play with in my, in my main account would probably queue earlier because yep. this guy has no flash. I already know yeah. that. Do you know yeah, that? So just, yeah. Okay. So if you know he has no flash, then it's a guaranteed kill uh, Q. So you can basically pop the guaranteed Q as early as yeah. possible and you know tag him. But that's only if you have the info and you know that he has no flash. Also, Alistair should have tanked one more, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I trolled it. Yeah. Awesome. It was kind of a a double misplay because Alistair didn't do his combo combo properly either. If Alistair does his combo properly against the wall, he has a he has an undodgeable E. You can't you can't escape it. Yeah. But he didn't pop his E. He like sat on it for a little bit. Okay, cool. So your team is actually winning. You push this wave in. But when you're at this HP, first things first is I, I could see something bad was about to happen. Number one is there's a big fight going on, but Tom isn't showing up to the fight. Number two is Tom is level six. So even if he doesn't just walk at you and he hasn't used ult somewhere else, you should probably be careful and he'll he'll just he'll just ult behind you right now. Ult behind me, yeah. Okay. So you so this like this is fine, and then you should just walk away immediately here. Walk away, yeah. I think you live because you spell shield to your, his Q anyway, and he's Tom. But it, in a higher level game, he just freezes. Yeah. And it's really annoying for you, right? Because, like, I mean, you're Sivir, it's not the end of the world, but it's just, it's just annoying. And Zaya gets more farm than she should after she dying. Should. But I don't think you can stop that freeze, to be honest. I think you just have to deal with it. Right. If he's a good player, he'll just sit there on the wave and you can't really contest. Staying at 10% HP isn't very... um. Very smart. Cool. All right. AD carry life. Just walk in directly, ball at Pog Champ. Why? Why did I do that? I don't know. It's, it's not working out. But I'm like losing mana for no reason. I don't even think I have to use any abilities now. Yeah. So I, I think in general, just uh, this is kind of like small optimizations. This isn't really the big, big point of this kind of stuff. But just make sure you're not messing up minions with your W and stuff, right? Because yeah, yeah. again, you're losing, you lose two creeps here unnecessarily okay so what just happened something happened here i think poppy's on fizz they're, they're, solo kills the, alistar baits me into going here i don't think i die but i think it's stupid i think i just push bot lane okay so yeah first of all fizz just solo kills mid and he's one hp you've already gotten something you've already gotten a solo kill uh, yeah. fizz has no alt you have no alistar he's not level six you don't have yeah, malphite yeah. alt malphite's top lane garen doesn't have tp and he's no alt it's so bad so, in this situation, again, it's totally fine. Every now and then you do get baited here. But the best, what is the best play for you then, instead of going to Drake? Oh, uh, just pushing bot lane. Exactly. But even then, you won't be able to do that. Why? Uh, because uh, they could just collapse, I guess. Yeah, they'll just Tama on your face, right? Yeah. I just want you to no like, flash. panic. Like, yeah. so I guess but I just if you're really confident, in my opinion, what you can yeah. do is one shot the drake sorry one shot the wave before they one shot drake because you're sitter yeah. 
So if you blow all your cooldowns on the wave and then just walk away, they're probably going to miss two, three minions, maybe. Maybe maybe one, maybe two. Yeah, but this is exactly what I expected them to do, which is run at you. Another fight, another fee. Cool. Uh, another quick quick note. You have to you have to preempt these kind of decisions, and I would never spell shield here. Okay. Oh, right. yep. Um, they weren't in range to Q, but that's just kind of like an experience thing. They were never in really in range. Just be be careful because if you do waste your spell shield, and these guys are actually, um, I mean they they shouldn't ever be able to kill you with your spell shield up. Basically, it's impossible for them to ever get on you with your spell shield up. So that is like your holy grail in, in a lot of matchups. If you don't have it, then you're you're just a sitting duck. But anyway, it's fine. They get Drake, you get a mid solo kill, so it's kind of an even trade at this point. Yep, that was a complete fail. <sighs> Ooh, your Alistair actually nearly saved your life, but yeah, um so again, you know what you should spell should do, right? Uh Poppy stun. Yeah, Poppy stun, cool. And nope. what I want to do, try and give you a suggestion to do is just think about the stuff before this kind of things happen so you don't have to do the thinking in the fight, right? Real right. simple is I'm playing Thresh. Enemy team has, I don't know, enemy team has Leona, Jarvan, MF, okay? Mm -hmm. And if I'm ever in loading screen against a Jarvan, a Leona, and an MF, I mm -hmm. put it in my brain that I can stop the Jarvan EQ onto my AD carry with my E. Right, and then I also put into my brain if I use Leona E, if they use Leona E, and I use my flay on Leona E, we cannot get away from Jarvan. Okay, so they have two things that I have to stop, and I only have one spell which can stop them. It's risky for me to be super far up, right? Mm -hmm. But that's what I mean. Like I think about it in loading screen, or I think about it while I'm playing really aggro and far up in the lane. Oh, good lord! Oh, good lord! Okay. So while I'm playing really far up in the lane, I'm thinking like, okay, if I get ganked, how is the gank going to play out, right? Like, what are the key spells, and how do they actually get on me? And especially as an AD carry, that's pretty much how you need to think all the time. Right? You need to be thinking, like, what are the enemy's key spells? And how do I stop them from, do from landing their key spells? It's really, really important you, you start thinking like that as an AD, because then your positioning becomes way easier. You don't have to just sit there and react in the moment. You kind of, you can, like, work your way into little pockets in teamfights where it's really hard for the opponents to even land Poppy E on you or, like, a Thresh Hook or whatever other important skills they have. Cool. Anyway, you get ganked, you go back bot lane, it's just Sivir lifestyle. We're just pushing and farming for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Alright. Nice Q. So, okay, at this point in the game, what do you want to do as Sivir? <laughs> really? Just shove and then try and... I don't know what... Uh, I really, in my mind, I thought we had the, enough damage to kill Zaya here, but I don't think so. I think it's like a weird way to play the game. I just think I can kill her, but I can't. Okay, so, the, so Zaya has way more damage champ to champ. You have way more damage minion to champ to minions. So the way you need to play this is you, you push Zaya in and you maintain your mana by whenever she tries to queue the minions to try and de-push because she has to, otherwise she'll just be like mobbed by minions under her tower then you just mm. take the cheeky mana back right yeah and then you just keep spamming on the wave and there's really nothing she can do mm -hmm. um and especially if you go essence reaver it's like this this lane is just doomed for zaya unless she has a good support <laughs> match what is wrong with this guy i thought so, we were angry at malfight for some reason i don't even know why it's okay well, I would like, very much recommend just muting and muting chat, yeah. not typing FF because it's a mental boomer for a lot of people. I've got Why do I even stay? What's the point? Or do I have to stay now? Uh, yeah, I would base on this. It's a cannon wave. Yeah. Again, your Alistair, for some re weird reason, wants to stay for forever as well. Just tell him to back, right? Just ping him back, say, go base with me. It's just, we're, we're just, like, kind of staying in lane for no real reason. Okay. Yeah, I was about, I was about to say, holy crap, did you check that bush? Probably should check that bush. This is lock screen things, because I clearly don't see her go into there. Why do I even, like, think of where she is? Again, if you want to walk up here, you probably should ping your support to just, you know. 
I don't even think you die. Oh, you should have flashed that. It's okay. This is actually way more painful than I ever realized. Watching your replays sometimes can be a little bit painful, but it's okay. It never should be this hard, but maybe you should like look in the bush and uh, maybe you should actually flash. And yeah. maybe you should stop blaming jungle. Maybe definitely, you definitely you stop blaming the jungle. Yes, that's definitely not the biggest issue right now. Biggest issue is we need to find a good way of uh, oof. Yikes. Definitely stop the passive aggressive pings as well. It doesn't help your yeah. team's mental at all. Uh, it puts your team on tilt, and e even if they're the best players in the world, putting your team on tilt only reduces your own chances of winning. Of winning, yep. So focus on focus on what you can control. Yeah, because and as you can see, there's quite a lot that we can we can control, right? I'll fight for a cause. I won't die for one. Stop, Flaw. Yo, what's up? What rank is this? What rank are you? Gold four, gold three. Gold four, gold three. Nice, cool. <laughs> it was just a battle to the death man mode, holy shit. Let's watch that again, that was fucking honey. <laughs> I don't know why she takes this. It makes no sense. Yeah, she has no mana. Nice has a good spell shield. Cool. Yeah, um... Okay, so you're pushing. I would push this wave and then get the hell out, because you're probably going to get ganked by... Uh, Jungle or mid. I think jungle just showed like mid lane or sorry top lane though, but But did jungle just show top lane? Yeah, jungle just showed top lane. So in reality, maybe just Tom ult is the scariest thing here Oh, yeah, cool. You base. Okay, cool. So you actually got a solo kill. You're four kills up. You're doing pretty decent You got your Crockett Slayer and you're on your well on your way to scaling. You even get a er, nice juicy early blue trinket. It's pretty good So again, you're Sivir, but you are making a mistake here. What should you do? I'll probably run to this you run mid, okay? Yeah. So why do you think you run mid at this point in the game? Uh, cause um, cause then I can like play, uh, like I can join the fight if I want to, but then I can like shove mid as well, and it's like we don't lose much even if they were to shove in bot lane now. And yeah. Plus it's like, Alistair's like mid. Right. So. So. I'll get three v one. At this point, it's not the end of the world because your team won the fight. Sort of, it went it went one for one. Uh, but now you're 1v2 here, and you're kind of in a situation where the wave, I, I think it's okay you're here, but you don't need to be this scared, okay? You don't need to be spam pinging. Mm -hmm. So again, yeah. let's just go over go over the threats, because I think there's, the, the main thing I'm seeing here is you're not really assessing the threat at, at, its, effect, uh, at its actual level. What is the threat yeah. to you right now? I... Uh, I... Is Tom Kench got ult? Because I think that's the okay. main thing I was worried yeah. about. If Tom Kench has ulti, what do they need to dive you? They just, I think they can just use the ults and then just have right. Tom Kench tank and then they just cool. run me down. So they can use their ults and have Tom tank and run you down. You, you have ult, you had spell shield, and you have all your spells, right? Mm. What do these two need to dive you? Minions, that's what I tried they to They need do minions. Them. And what's stopping you from just throwing a W and a Q on the whole wave and one-shotting it. Nothing really, right? Nothing really, because Tom Kinch is exactly. over there. So that's what I mean. That's the logic you need to go through. Like, okay, they could ult directly under tower, but then you just ult and you walk away. You literally yeah. just ult and walk away, and it's fine. And they've spent some resources, and you've pulled the max resources. But this is another reason why I don't think um, you should be bot lane. I think you should be mid lane. Because yeah. in I would not condone that in higher elos but in this mm -hmm. elo when people aram this much sometimes it's okay to give up a big bot wave in your bot tower to to join your team but it's it's kind of situational and it depends a lot on like how much you're losing but you're losing a lot if you go bot lane and i think it's fine to take this to take this farm Rip. it's okay but, yeah. but what you need to do and what sivir is so powerful at is one versus twoing or just chilling on her own and pushing waves, right? Mm -hmm. You actually you actually don't need a lot of help as Sivir to just be a wave clear bot. So if you're a wave clear bot in this situation, you shouldn't be first of all, you shouldn't be pinging for help. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let your team roam, let your team make plays on their own, unless you're about to get dove. And 
you need to be kind of preempting that. It shouldn't be an immediate, oh shit, I'm going to get dove. It should be a, can they actually dive me? And on like, if they're pushing a big wave in, then they can dive me. But basically, just try and figure out what your role is. Your role in this game is not for your team to come to you, okay? Yeah. You are not going to be winning the game into a Zaya Tom Kench. They're just going to press R and Zaya, press W and Tom and walk away. It's really hard to actually make plays on them. The best place for your team to make plays is around Malphite Alt, around Fizz Alt. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, don't ping for help as much as you're doing right now in this specific game. Focus more on keeping your health up and avoiding trades like these. Because if you trade like this, then the dive becomes very scary and you have to ping for help. Now you've forced your, your team to come to you, right? So now you don't really have a choice. Now, your team... Oh. Oof. That's rough. Your team is definitely trying to salvage this, but it's already... Like, you're, you're already losing time. You're, you're, you guys are behind in tempo because you're chasing after the play ball lane, right? Mm -hmm. You're going ball to try and stop them from taking a tower. Well, they just meet... They just match you. And then now you're behind top. And now you're behind mid. Whereas if you had gone mid lane instead of going bot lane and forced to play mid lane, you would probably have forced them to come to you instead of them staying bot lane, right? You would have just taken mid. Cool. Right. So what is what is your plan now? What do you what do you think? Where do you think you should be on the map? The, no, and I just like pressuring tier one. Top okay. Lane. So cool. I don't think I can do anything mid, but then maybe I could have gone mid now. Poppy shown mid now. So if you, I think pressuring tier one is fine when Fiora dies like this. What should you do right now if you're pressuring tier one? A uh, ward. Yeah, just pop a blue trinket in river. Yeah. Yeah. Or in tri brush, tri brush or river, one of the two. Um, start using your blue trinket off cooldown. There's no mm -hmm. point holding it. Just start placing a bunch of vision all over in as many bushes as you possibly can. Fiora teleports. Sivir should be mid, Fizz is a better split pusher. Yes, you should definitely be mid lane, 100%. I think it's fine to stay top after you kill Fiora, push the wave and reset, it's fine. But do not go ball lane here. There we go, okay, good stuff. So you go mid, oh no, you're running ball. It's okay, there's a big team fight about to happen. But look what's happening mid lane, right? You guys are chasing after a play ball lane and you're going for kills. And you're really behind on the play. You're just really, really behind on the play here. Push the wave, push the wave, push the wave. Nice, there we go. So you're, you, to get what you can out of this situation, pushing the wave and just trying to take the bot tower while they take... Why did really Fizz take that? I was really upset with Fizz when he did that. And he also delayed his back, which is super bad. Okay, he, he needed Lich Bane. It's actually a good reason for him to take it. It's not that big a deal. If it's that big a power spike, then give it to him. Um, use your W on the, on the tower when the minions are nearby. It bounces from tower to minions, and it makes you attack faster, so... Like, around by here, just start using W on the tower. Yeah, seems a bit pointless to hold it. Yeah, and you can, you can wave clear these... You should be wave clearing these waves in one combo. You shouldn't have to auto afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. Focus on lining up everything, hit everything as, as much as you can. Now, this sounds kind of like anal, what I'm saying, but you're a champion that, that's so minion based that every single bit of every single extra second you can squeeze out of pushing waves faster being in the right place at the right time map wise is that's that's what your champion needs in the early mid game right you can't go around getting 1v5 triple kills you're, you're that's not your champion your champion is all about resources and farm and getting cs okay mm. and you're missing a lot of cs and slowing yourself down because you're not comboing the wave properly so you w and you q through the wave in a straight line and uh, make sure you get all the creeps from as many waves as you can. The more creeps, the better. But cool, okay, so after you push this wave, I want to see what you do here. So you push the wave, you push the wave. It's actually all right that you stay top here as well. I kind of like that. And I'm even happy with this. I'm happy that you're pushing. I hope you, I hope you push now that you see Fiora top. I hope you keep pushing. All right, we're resetting. So... Again, the what's the point of resetting here? The play is already I pretty didn't, lost. I didn't right? want them to run mid and take inhibitor. Okay, but can you stop it yourself? I hope 
I hoped with Garen and Fizz I could stop them. With Garen and Fizz, okay. But look at Garen's health. Also, oh, yeah. like, True. there's just no way you can stop Inhib. Fiora's going to one-shot the Inhib. It's just gone, in my opinion. Unless mm -hmm. Fizz runs there directly, and even then, I think Fiora can probably 1v1 Fizz. So, this is what I mean. You need to look at the map. Look at the state of Inhib. Look at the 1v1 between Garen and Fiora, and make the decision, because... At this point, I would just push this wave and push the next wave as well. Also, mm -hmm. press tab and double check who's going to show up because everybody I, I see, I've seen everyone on the map except Ezreal, and he's the only person who can show up top. This is the time when you say, "Can you?" Because you can, you can swing the game here with one situation if you can win the one v one versus Ez. Mm -hmm. Just keep pushing. And I have, you know? I have all, and some exactly. Episodes. You have alt, you have sums, you have red. If Ezreal is like not that fed, and you think you can one v one him, you stay top, you push the wave. And this is what I mean, you, you end up chasing the play. You're resetting and you're chasing the play. Fiora's yeah. TP up. If so, it's risky to keep pushing. Yes, that too. You need to check the, if Fiora's TP is up. But in my opinion, with ult and with red buff, you can definitely stay uh, You can definitely stay top lane and push one more wave at least. But cool, you get, a, you get a shut down. It's not the end of the world, but you did lose a tower for it. Now Ezreal is pushing the wave in top lane deep. Okay, again... Uh, after this kill, Can back here, what do you think you should do? Push mid lane. Exactly. Right. Just push mid. They're not going to keep pushing after the Fiora dies. Let Fizz catch bot wave if he needs to. Just start shoving mid as fast as possible. Shove mid all the way. All the way up. If you can do it safely. Okay? Because right now, I'm just seeing you kind of just hanging around waiting for a wave. You're just kind of dawdling and you can't walk up to the wave when there's three people there. So you're just wasting your own time. Right? And Fizz should be the one... Fizz should be the one ready to catch this wave while you one-shot the wave mid lane. I've got mm -hmm. Cool. Oh my god, it's just like constant chasing on the map. So again, instead of Malphite, uh, it should be you and, uh, and Alistair here. But uh, Malphite gets caught. This guy's unfortunately trolling a bit, but it's, it's fine. It is what it is. Okay, um, so I just want to give you an idea of why this game is going so bad for your team. And I've seen this repeatedly multiple times. First of all, it's hard to control some of these situations as an AD, uh, like if you don't use your pings very, very aggressively and constantly tell your team, kind of like be the better voice on your team. But I just want to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go really fucking far back. Okay, look at, we see Ezreal starting to push top at 20 minutes, 40 seconds in the game. We see him starting to push top, okay? For the next, that's 40, that's 30 seconds, uh, 50, wait, 40 seconds, 20 minutes, 40, it's 20, that's 43 seconds. Mm -hmm. That is 53 seconds he before we send anybody top lane. Anybody top lane, yeah. Right? Your team is just chasing everything on the map. You see something on the map that's happening right in front of you and you're like, oh shit, I have to react. So you chase it. Okay? Now imagine... Imagine a world which you just went straight top lane, right? Because you know your team is going to lose a fight. You don't have numbers. Your Malphite has just died. Let's just go top lane. You ping your team back. You catch the wave. The, there's a massive wave top lane. And I do not think we're going to get all these minions. Eh, let's see what happens. Good God, is Ezreal going to die here? There's no fucking way Ezreal dies here, does he? Okay, he doesn't die yet. But we've had we've had 53 seconds to react to this giant wave top lane and we only react now and they've got two waves pushing in so now we're, we're split we're, we're like in the middle of but it's fine you're sivir and you deal like a billion damage so you actually have a chance to win these games okay again what's going on right now on the map Ezreal's still pushing. Ezreal's still pushing. No, like, so, you know what I liken this to is, have you ever, do you, do you play football at all? I do. Okay, have you played football when you were a kid, like when you were like really young uh, in yeah. primary school and, and everyone would just run, chase after run the ball? And, and, no yeah, position, but... no, no one would stay back and like create a good passing opportunity. Like a good angle. Like... Or a good angle. That's exactly what this is. In Loilo, people just chase the ball, right? They see something on the map and they're like, I have to deal with this and they don't think about no. like a solution in the future. They don't think, oh, Ezreal's pushing top. Someone's going to have to go there in 10 seconds. 
So then yeah. in 10 seconds, the wave smashes into your tower and you're like, oh shit, well, okay. Right? So the solution to this isn't easy as an AD, but it is use your waves, uh, yeah. be the one to ping your team and be a, be in the correct lane assignment. That's the main main thing. You need to be in the right place so that your team gets kind of forced into the correct lane assignments, right? Fizz, I guarantee you Fizz is not using more than a few brain cells to think about where he should go. He's just sees champ and he's just chasing. I can see your entire four-man unit right now. By the way, you should be helping in this fight. Oh, okay. I don't know why I'm trying to match Fiora. Exactly. Matter. You're you're never gonna match Fiora. She's gonna just one tap you anyway. So and you need to be with ball. the team. I see. If they have super minions, you can leave them to kill your minions to deprive enemy of gold. That is a good tip. Sometimes you need to be wary of not giving up too much. You're about to die here. I feel like. Okay, you had to burn ulti. Yeah, she should just dive you here. Yeah. So that that was pretty predictable, and that's just kind of like a game knowledge thing, right? You can't match Fiora, and she's too fed. So, um, in this situation, you are far more useful. In the, like, imagine for example, you won the four v four. Okay, you maybe lose another inhibitor, but you might get Baron, and that might be the that might be the turning point. It might not. It's a pretty tough game, regardless. You know, I I don't see you guys winning this one, but it's a better play than this. Is a really really low low chance to win this play, right? Mm -hmm. But apart from this, this game becomes very, very difficult. I mean, Fizz dies to Fiora, and then they just, you know, they just destroy your base. And uh, I assume you guys defend barely here, and then the game goes on for a bit. Yeah. Okay. So the game is the game is effectively over. You can't win by air ramming down kills. Yeah. I mean, air, this game was is already very difficult at this point. So it's not really that big a deal. But I think the main thing is just... So many mistakes in this game. Especially early. Like wasting mana. The the main thing is, I think on the server, you need to understand where to be early. Because the way you impact the map on server is you're so fast at one-shotting waves, right? That's what you need to do. That's how you need to impact the map. You one-shot waves, you need to be in the right place at the right time. And you've, you've watched my stream a lot. So you know like what happens when you one-shot a wave super quickly. You have... Mm -hmm extra time in between waves to do stuff right yeah so the team that can one shot their waves that's prior that's what priority is the team that gets really hard priority has tons of time on the map it, their tempo is really high they have a really large turn right does that make sense mm -hmm. whereas the team that's you know sitting there trying to catch waves under tower i mean this was you guys this game you were trying to catch waves under tower um, the team that's trying to catch waves under tower is never going to have a turn. They're just going to be constantly chasing after minion waves on the map. Yeah? Terrible. But yeah, you're right. I just need to... Um, there's a lot to take away. I don't realize how bad I play until I watch it back. Like, <laughs> Honestly, that was... I mean, it's fun. every replay. You don't need to be so hard on yourself. Like, this is... Uh, I guarantee you, you're... You, you know your mistakes and your like everybody makes mistakes when when i watch my replays i'll notice so many mistakes that's just how it is that's just how vod review is it's kind of like mm -hmm. listening to your own voice in a recording it doesn't sound very good you know it's very terrible, um, yeah. but that that you just got to get used to it and improve so mm -hmm. it's fine it's not a big deal focus slowly on focus on one or two things at a time and if you're a silver one trick the main thing i would focus on is being in the right place at the right time like for minion waves and stuff like that and not autopiloting and just going to your bot lane all the time. Make sure you know yeah. where you're, you're, you're going to get maximum amount of farm. And yeah, where, the value is. where you can actually go to push, right? If Sivir's stuck under tower, she's one of the least useful champions AD carry wise. She's just super garbage. If she's just stuck under bot lane tower, one versus two, I mean, she's not going to be do much. She's, she's just going to sit there and it's going to take her 30 minutes to come online. Mm -hmm. But if you can go to a wave and if you can actually push that wave out and then join your team with your alt, you're very, very useful. You can engage as an AD carry, and that's a very underappreciated skill. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I'm warning here. I generally, my map awareness is this bad that I generally think Poppy might be doing our like camps for some strange reason when she just kills me. But anyway, yeah, I hope that was useful. Good analysis. Yeah. Thank you. TY, appreciate it. No problem.